What is up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have taken an extremely long break from YouTube, um, but I'm so glad to be back and sharing a new side, um, a, new, a new group of stories and experiences with all of you. Um, I'm going to be sharing some skeptical, is that the word? I guess I'm going to be sharing some stories and experiences with all of you guys that um, might be hard to believe. Um, I'm going to be sharing some experiences and things that I have uh, witnessed uh, about the paranormal in my haunted home. So with that being said, um, if you are interested in this kind of thing, if you like creepy stories, ghost stories, um, and real uh, witness accounts of paranormal and spiritual activity, feel free to follow along on my journey. Um, I'm going to film as much as I can and share everything that I find with you guys. So, I guess we'll just get right into this video. Um, I live in what I consider a haunted house. Um, my fiance experiences it. Some of my friends have experienced it. Um, just really weird things happen here. Over a year ago, when I started my YouTube journey, I was still living at home. I was living with my mom. Um, and since then, I have bought a house. And this house was built over 100 years ago. Um, and the previous owner actually passed away. So that's kind of like the start of what is going on in this creepy house so starting from the beginning we obviously had no clue that um anybody had passed away here in this house uh we didn't know until signing day uh i guess in michigan a law is that the realtor does not have to tell you about any type of death in the house unless you ask so i didn't ask i it never crossed my mind i didn't think that anybody had passed away here um, until signing day when we were getting the keys and signing the paperwork to our house. Um, the previous owner's sister sold us the house and she just talked so fondly of her sister, um, you know, and that she got sick and passed away suddenly and it was very, very sad. Um, so that's kind of like the backstory on the previous owner that used to live here. I really don't know much about her besides her name. I know her age. Um, I found her obituary online. I don't know how she passed away. Um, the neighbors, I've asked them. Really not too much information about her, which is a little strange because it kind of seems like she's just gone. She just vanished. Um, nobody has a lot of information on her. Um, when we got the house, we moved in. Um, within a month, we started doing things like painting and renovating to kind of make the house look a little bit more modern since it was built 100 years ago. And our first night here, I had a really freaky dream. My dream was about a little girl and her dad. She um, was probably around the age of 10. I, I can't really remember exactly how old she was but probably around the age of 10 um and I was kind of like watching her and her dad we were at a park I was like sitting on a bench and she was playing at the playground and her dad was watching he wasn't sitting with me he wasn't sitting next to me but he was watching as well um so as I was watching her play the dad like kept looking at me um we never spoke we never um you know had any type of conversation he never came up to me but he looked like a young dad um you know probably in his 30s so as i'm watching this little girl play i'm getting a little weirded out by the dad because he keeps looking at me again we never speak he never comes up to me we don't have any interaction but the little girl comes up to me and she grabs both of my hands so we're like holding hands and she said can i show you something i remember feeling really weird but I didn't want to say yes. I didn't really know what she was going to show me. I had no clue what she was going to show me, but I had a feeling that it was going to be weird. She just kept, you know, holding my hands and looking into my eyes. And she said, I really, really want to show you something. Can I please show you something? I eventually said yes. It was at this point where we switched locations. Um, we were no longer at the park. We were in my house and we were standing in my hallway, um, which was really weird because 
like, I don't know. It was at this point, I kind of knew I was dreaming. I knew it wasn't like a real life experience. Um, but we were standing in my hallway and she was pointing at this closet. When you open the closet, um, there's an attic upstairs and then a bunch of shelves and we had just moved in. So there was nothing on the shelves. They were completely empty. There was nothing there. When she opened the door to this closet, there, um, was a rosary in this little case. So there was this rosary in this case sitting there and she grabbed it and she handed it to me and she said, I want you to have it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really, really weird. Um, and then I woke up and it was the next morning and my fiance was already at work. I was home alone. And the first thing I thought of is, oh my gosh, I want to see if my dream was real. I want to try and find this rosary. So the first place I went was the closet where she showed me and I did have to look around. It wasn't just sitting there in plain sight, but I found the exact rosary um, that she showed me in my dream. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm gonna go get it and I'm going to show you the exact rosary that I found. All right, so this is it. This is like the case that it came in. Um, I think you're supposed to kind of like show it like this. Um, but this was sitting in my closet. This is exactly what I had dreamed of and I found it in real life. So um, needless to say, I was super spooked. So if you take out the rosary, this is it. You can see like the crucifix, the beads are red. So um, if you have been following me um, and my stories, you might have come here from TikTok. Um, I made a TikTok about this, about the dream that I had um, and the rosary and it blew up. Um, it has like 3 million views. I, you know, had no clue <laughs> that people wanted to hear about this kind of thing or even cared. But I got a lot of really helpful comments on the TikTok about this rosary. So after I found the rosary, I immediately called my fiance. I was freaking out. He didn't believe me until he came home and saw exactly what I had found. But what people have been telling me on TikTok is that these red rosary beads are actually made from dried flower petals. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure they said rose, rose petals. Um, and a lot of people who commented on them, um, had family or relatives that have had the same exact rosary from Mexico, which is very, very strange because the previous owner of this house, um, she was Hispanic. She was actually from Puerto Rico. I thought she was from Mexico until I started doing more research about her, um, but she was born in Puerto Rico. So I'm wondering if this is like maybe a special, like, you know, certain families like pass these down or something. I really don't know. I have no clue. But since finding the rosary, I have had creepy, really strange things happen in this house. Things will move all the time. Like for example, my engagement ring. I recently got engaged and this is something that will move all the time. There you go. Maybe you can see it like that. So it will move all the time. Um, I have a special dish that I put it in because I'm like paranoid that I'm gonna lose it or that it will fall down the drain or something. So I have a special little dish that I put it in and that's it. Um, I don't ever put it anywhere else. That's it. And it will, um, like my dishes in the bathroom. So it's on my little vanity in the bathroom. And if I'm doing dishes, I'll walk to the bathroom, put my ring in there um, and I'll find it like back on the kitchen counter or I'll find it on my coffee table. So my engagement ring will move. Lights will turn on. Um, I have another story where I woke up at three in the morning and every single light in my whole house was on. The whole house, like from the basement to the main floor. We don't have an upstairs, just an attic. But from the basement to the main floor, every single light in this whole entire house was on, which I know cannot be possible because before I go to bed, I turn every single light off. So that freaked me out. I turned all the lights back off, went back to bed, woke up again to my bedroom door, like opening and hitting my closet and like making a really loud noise. 
Um, so that was really weird. That's happened twice now where my fiance and I have both woken up and every single light in the whole house is on. Super weird. My Echo Dots also will randomly start blasting Christmas music, which I thought was very odd. Um, one of my very best friends was here one time and we were just chilling on the couch, watching TV, eating some snacks. And all of a sudden, all of my Echo Dots start blasting Christmas music. Obviously this was super weird, um, but I just kind of thought like, oh, maybe it's hooked up to my Spotify. Um, you know, when you play your music on Spotify, it will connect to whatever Bluetooth devices are around. So I opened my Spotify and no Christmas music was playing. So I thought that was weird. So I just kind of like would swipe up and cancel out all my apps. I canceled out every single app that was open on my phone. Um, I canceled out Spotify, I canceled out my Echo Dot app, I canceled everything and the music still continued to play. I literally had to unplug the Echo Dots for them to stop playing the Christmas music. Even my best friend was like, what the heck is going on? And I'm like, I don't know, but I'm kind of happy that somebody else is here to witness this creepy stuff because I feel crazy sometimes. So. Everything finally clicked one day when I went out into the garage to grab some chairs and there were a ton of bins. We knew there were bins in the garage, but we had never opened them or, I mean, they weren't ours. They were left here by the previous owner. So we kind of just like put them in the rafters and we're like, that's not ours. I'm not really going to worry about it. But I went into the garage to get chairs and the bins like tops were open and it was all of her Christmas decorations. So that's probably why the Christmas music plays. So that is like the gist of what has happened recently in my house. I have a ton of other stories that I can share and that I'm going to be sharing on this channel. One thing I'm really excited to like tell you guys about is that I have contacted a paranormal investigation team. I've contacted a couple um, since all of this stuff has started happening and I'm really hoping to hear back from them soon. So if I do hear from them and they end up coming here and doing some type of paranormal investigation, I'm going to film all of it and share it with you guys. I really do think that something is here. Um, if you don't believe in this kind of stuff, I don't blame you. Um, you know, this is not something that a lot of people do believe in. And I think that you normally don't believe in this kind of stuff unless it's happened to you. So I'm just really excited to like share this journey with you guys. Hopefully I hear from these paranormal investigation teams. I think it would be super cool to have people come, people who don't know my story, people who don't know anything about this house and see if they experience what I experienced. So sorry if this video was kind of all over the place. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where I wanna start with this kind of thing. This is a story and a journey that I'm really excited to document and to share. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are looking forward to what I am able to find. Um, I know I am. Um, I have plenty of more stories for you guys about creepy things that have happened to me um, in this house. So if you are interested in anything that I have said in this video or looking forward to any more paranormal activity or paranormal stories, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment and I will see you guys next time.